welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to have a look at this. This has been out quite a while. This is the Fanatec Formula B 2.5X. The X means it's the Xbox version. I bought it in the Xbox because I like the orange uh, <laughs> bits on it. So yeah, I like this one. Very nice wheel. Now I bought the other wheel that I reviewed a bit ago and I was going to come away from this one and use that one because of there were a few little things I like but the more I drove it and then I went back to this there was a massive difference so I've done an upgrade on this one to turn what I consider to be a great wheel at a decent price 369 I think this was I think it's gone up to 400 now in the increase they've had uh, but I have put the paddles on the back so I've got the podium paddles now on here very easy job to do well when I say very easy you've got to take the screws out of the back of here and you obviously take this off you undo the original ones and then there's two screws here two screws in the front here and at the bottom there if you, when you undo these two screws it allows um, sorry, when you undo these two screws, it allows this cap here to come off. This cap separates here. And under there are your connectors. They just uh, unbolt them, unbolt the quick release, take them off, and then you undo these screws here. And this will uh, shift apart. And once you've done that, you can fish your wires out. It's not, it sounds like it's difficult, but it really isn't. It's not a big job at all. Uh, and then these are the paddles so you've all probably seen these before the only thing I've done differently is I haven't got the big ones on here because the, if you put the big ones on I found it they were too big it was just too close to it and I didn't really like the feel so this way I have this and now of course I can have my DRS and ERS set on the paddles on the back rather than buttons on the front which I find to be better but all in all this is the so this will be an expensive wheel now, I suppose. It's 400 for the wheel and then you've got 179 for this. Uh, this hasn't gone up yet, but I imagine it probably will do. So it's £579 and it is an expensive wheel at that. But for me, it's really I wouldn't want anything different really. I don't think you can get much better for, form, for you know driving the Formula 1 type cars. I only use this for the Formula 1 cars, so I drive Formula 1 cars on our factory, etc. Corsa, and obviously the F1 sim. But yeah, I, I really do like this wheel, and I do think it's um, worth the money. Uh, one other thing when I'm here, so I have finally done the a mod to my rig, and I've finally got um, pedals now on adjusters. So I have, like I say, adjusters, I've now got these under my pedals. Because no matter what rig I've had, there's always something that I've never been 100% right. Either my legs haven't been right or my arms. This way, because I can move the pedals on the seat, I can get perfect. So I've done that this morning. I just wanted to show you this to the wheel. And I think it's a, a worthy upgrade, if not an expensive one. I'm not saying everybody should go out and do this. Don't get me wrong, it's made it an expensive wheel. But uh, I think you kind of get what you pay for. And this is... Obviously, there's a lot of other stuff. The Simi Cube stuff looks really good that's out there, and there's a lot of good wheels out for that type of thing. Uh, but no, this has turned this into a nice wheel. So, just a quick video today, um, and that's about it. So, thanks ever so much for watching, and you all have a fantastic day.